Airspeed's not alive yet. Okay, that's a problem. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the finer points. You know, we do all this stuff in training, I'm teaching it all the time, little procedures to catch this or that or the other thing. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you a real world example of why this stuff is important uh, and how it can save you from, from serious trouble. Uh, I recently came out to pre-flight the airplane. Um, I was just gonna go flying for a filming mission. Uh, and as I'm walking around the airplane doing my pre-flight, I notice something unusual on the pitot tube. It looks to me like it's blocked or possibly blocked. Um, there'd been a lot of rain uh, the, the weeks before, so I thought maybe like crud had run down into it and it's possible it was really superficial. I didn't want to go poking around in there, but um, I thought I would after doing a thorough pre-flight. Uh, taxi the airplane out to the runway. I'm at a, a very mellow, non-towered airport and um, I thought I'd just do a high-speed taxi down the length of the runway to verify whether or not the airspeed was in fact working. And that's what I'm going to show you here in this video. Um, now I want to be very, very clear, I had no intention of flying the airplane. So I had no intention of flying the airplane and I had no intention of flying the airplane. Okay, so I'm going to do this high speed taxi uh, to see if the airspeed's in fact not working. Then I'm going to, I'm going to film that to show you guys and then I'm going to take it to the mechanic. Uh, so this is what it looked like. I went out and in fact, there was no airspeed. All right, here we are. We say power set. Engine gauges are checked. Airspeed's not alive yet. Airspeed's not alive yet. Okay, that's a problem. We're gonna abort the takeoff. We power back. We bring a little bit of back pressure in to protect the nose wheel. We've got plenty of runway in front of us, so we're not gonna slam on the brakes or anything like that. We're gonna let the aircraft slowly come to a stop. We did not have an airspeed indication. We'll have to figure out why, but we're not going flying like that. Okay, so as most of you probably know, airspeed is critical to a pilot, right? It's measuring the amount of airflow over the wings and is directly related to what is holding us up there. Um, but it's really important that you practice you know, a few times in training, or at least you've seen it before, uh, what it looks like to fly the pattern without airspeed, okay? That's something you should, you should have in your back pocket. Uh, we're not gonna see that on this flight because that would have been illegal. So I, you know, because I, I, I knew the airspeed wasn't working, I, I was not legal to fly. Um, but let's go through some of the procedures that are designed to prevent you from ever accidentally taking off without an airspeed indication. I mean, of course, you've got the pre-flight inspection where you're walking around, uh, but, there's a second part to that pre-flight called the final walk around where when the whole pre-flight is done, you're just gonna walk around the airplane and look at it for anything that looks out of the ordinary, any red flags or cow plugs or tow bars or tie downs or things blocking your fuel vents, pitot tubes, stall warnings, static ports, stuff like that. You're just gonna look at the airplane as a backup to make sure you didn't miss anything during the pre-flight. Now, there is yet another procedure, like let's say you missed it during all of that. Um, we always look for 70% of our takeoff speed by the halfway point on any runway. This is just a standard takeoff procedure. So during the roll, we use call outs to help draw our attention back to important points along the roll. Power set, confirm, right? Engine gauges in the green, confirm. Airspeed, alive, confirm. If you don't see an airspeed indication, Obviously, you're not going to have 70% of your speed, uh, so it is time to power back and abort the takeoff. And that is also something you should practice. Uh, aborting a takeoff, you know, it takes a little bit longer than you realize to stop, so make sure you're on a long enough runway the first few times you're practicing this. Uh, get to your abort point. Imagine you don't have the speed, even if you do. Bring the power back and stop the aircraft on the runway. That's a great education and something you should have in your back pocket. And last thing I'll say on this, I have heard of a few accidents where people will attempt to abort abort the takeoff late and go off the end of the runway. Um, so if that's you or, or you're in a situation like that, it certainly would be better to fly around the pattern without airspeed than it would be to run off the end of a runway. I mean, the one accident I'm thinking of, the airplane uh, burst into flames and everybody on board was very lucky to survive. 
So make sure in training you, you, you at least feel confident flying the aircraft around the traffic pattern without an airspeed indication. So in my case, it turned out that silkworms had gotten into the pitot tube and created this little cocoon. Um, but there's all sorts of insects that can do it. I mean, uh, you know, Australia is well known for mud dauber wasps, which it can get into pitot tubes. Uh, and regardless of whether or not you're, you've got your plane in a hangar or you've got it on the ramp, I mean, these are insects. They can get into buildings. So it's something to remember uh, and be aware of. And certainly the last time I'll leave my plane on the ramp without a pitot tube cover. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. Um, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. Leave me a comment below if you've ever seen something crazy in your pre-flight or there's a video you'd like to see me make. A huge thanks to the sponsors. Remember that ForeFlight is the essential app for aviation. They're online at ForeFlight.com. And when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Uh, also, huge thanks to the patrons. If you guys want to hang out with me once a month, get access to all sorts of bonus content and sleep well at night knowing you are supporting a great aviation channel. You can find all of that information at patreon.com slash learn TFP. And last thing I want to say is our trips are going off. Airplane Camp 2022 is happening. You can find out more information about what we do out there in the wilderness, teaching survival, flying skills, great music, great food, great fun, uh, all online at learnthefinerpoints.com. I'm Jason Miller, and you guys are the best fans on the internet. Until next time, be safe and fly your best.